I come from a small town from Savannah, Georgia. I appreciate the applause for Savannah. Thank you. It's too late, it's too late. Yeah, I love Savannah. I, you guys get snow, we get a lot of hurricanes in Savannah. People always ask me all the time, Cyrus, you ever get worried about visiting Savannah during hurricane season? I'm like, not really. I just don't like the names they give the hurricanes. Yeah, the names. They're crazy. Like, the last one we had uh, was Dorian, Hurricane Dorian. It's a Category 5 hurricane named Dorian. I didn't have a problem with that, you know? But the one before that, I didn't care for. Florence. Category 5 hurricane named Florence. Like, no offense, ladies. I'm just saying, that's not a strong name. You want to go with a Margaret or a Harriet, those are strong names. Florence is not about to make me leave my house. Because I don't know who Florence is to you, but to me, Florence is that old lady in the back of the church that gives you peppermints for sitting through the whole sermon. That's who Florence is to me. That, it's not enough to make me leave my house. Now, Hurricane OJ, I might pack my bags. I don't like the names, I don't like the names. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and it's, you know, it's part of that is the news. They like to perpetuate stuff, you know, to get higher ratings. They'll send somebody like Al Roker from the Today Show to scare everybody, be like, <sighs> we're gonna have wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, we're gonna have torrential rain eight to nine inches of torrential rain, and that's the weather in your neck of the woods. <laughs> Back to you. What's funny to me is right behind Al Roker will be somebody actually from Savannah wearing Bermuda shorts, a Hawaiian shirt, smoking Newports, walking his dog like, yeah, y'all stay inside. It's very dangerous out here. Y'all stay inside. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm scared of the eye of the hurricane. That's what used to scare us back in the day. Like, I'm 10 years old. I'm like, why would you give this human characteristic to something that's not human? I have the hurricane. I'm in my room praying like, Lord, please don't let us get the eye of the hurricane. <laughs> Let us get the leg or the pinky toe. Please don't let us get the eye of the hurricane. Uh, if we do get the eye, Lord, let it be a lazy eye. Amen. Amen. Which I can speak on because I do have a lazy eye. Those of you sitting on the front row, you may notice from time to time because you won't know who I'm looking at. I'm still talking to you, sir. It's very frustrating being cross-eyed. People who can see straight, ma'am, you're laughing too hard. People who can see straight, y'all take things for granted. You go to the movies, you get exactly, you get exactly what you asked for. I don't have that luxury. I go to the movies, it takes about five minutes to get my order right. I'm like, let me get two of those and a medium popcorn. The only thing, the only thing the concessionist gets right is the medium popcorn. I'm like, sir, uh, I asked for milk duds and gummy bears. He's like, sir, at the time of the order, one of your eyes was looking at the Mike and Ikes, the other eye was looking at Starburst. Next, I don't have time for this. I don't have the heart to correct the man, so I go back to my seat, which is equally frustrating because the lights are dim. I go to sit next to the girl I came with, lights come up, turns out I've been sitting next to an 80 year old man the whole time. Which got really awkward because we were holding each other during the movie. Yeah, the girl I came with is sitting one row in front of me like, really? You didn't see me sitting here, really? I'm like, well, you know my eyes are messed up. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? She's like, I did, but you and your new girlfriend kept going, shh, you're being rude. You're being rude. I didn't know that was you.